Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our traction control in our Tuner Studio software. So when we're using a Megasquirt 3, we're gonna find that we have the ability to utilize traction control in a couple different variations. We're gonna find we have these perfect run style traction control where it's gonna be taking a look at either engine RPM or it's gonna be taking a look at our vehicle speed. We also have a slip based traction control where we compare our undriven and driven wheel speeds and we can see if we have a percentage of difference between our speeds and then we can calculate a slip and then we're able to kick in the traction control in either pool ignition timing, we can cut spark or even cut fuel. So we have a couple different strategies available. I'm going to be walking you through all the different strategies we have and what we need to know in order to program them successfully. So without further wait, let's jump in the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Mega Squirt 3 and our traction control. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into advanced engine and jump down here to our TC settings. This is going to be where we start to turn on our traction control and specify some details. Let's go here to TC, let's turn it on. Now we can find we have our method that we have to choose for what kind of method we want our traction control to operate on. So we can see perfect run, VSS slip, perfect run RPM, and switched input. I'm only going to be covering the first three in the video here. Switched input is going to be used if you have an external traction control device like a Davis traction control. I don't normally work with those, and we're able to implement our TC just fine with the first three options here. Now, kind of moving down the list, uh, we'll go through all the details here, and then we'll jump back into the methods, talk about those, and then talk about the different levels of control we have with our TC. So our enable input here is going to be if we want to have a toggle switch, it's going to allow us to turn on or off the TC, um, even though we have this switch on right here, we have the TC turned on, it's going to have to meet the condition that we program here. Normally I don't use this, I just, if I arm my TC here, I'm going to want it to work, so I'm going to specify some other parameters so I can go in and make it work correctly. Now our light output here gives us the option to wire an output when the TC turns on. It's going to allow the driver to have some kind of a warning lamp in the car telling us that the TC is active um, so that we know for sure what's going on if we start to feel it cut out or start to feel power loss. That's pretty useful um, for a driver so he understands that there might be a loss of traction and that the TC is kicking in. Now the minimum TPS and minimum vehicle speed, these two definitely have to be populated. Normally on the minimum TPS, I'm interested in having my TC work probably about 40 to 50% throttle range. I'm not gonna be interested in having it kick in at low throttle. I'm gonna have that our engine power is gonna be much lower at lower throttle angles and um, we can avoid that altogether. So something like 40 or 50 will be sufficient here. And our minimum VSS, this is definitely gonna be need to be implemented on a drag car. Um, if we're launching it, we wanna make sure that we are gonna be at least two to five mile per hour. So we're gonna be launching the car already and getting off the line. Um, if we have our TC turned on at something like zero mile per hour, it may cause the engine to 